It's Booty Quake here from Roller Derby Athletics, and today's workout is a prehab, and it's all about stability. Stability training is very important for any sport that requires a lot of lateral movement or has unexpected loads. What's an unexpected load? How about a 180 pound person trying to hit you off the track while you're skating on wheels? That's unstable. So, when we have dynamic loading, we need to train our bodies to protect ourselves and be ready for the impact and ready for the changes in the game. Skiers, football players, soccer players, um, those are the kinds of athletes who are doing this kind of training. So in roller derby, we're going to do it too. And I'm not going to say that this is going to prevent you from ever having an injury, but it's going to put you in the best possible situation to reduce possible injuries and also really improve your agility. What I'm going to do today is just walk you through several exercises that are stability trainers. And what you can do is try to incorporate these into your regular workouts so that you are doing some stability training every time you're working out with roller derby. It is going to improve your game and it is going to reduce the potential for injury. You should aim to sustain each movement for 30 seconds to a minute per side. The first exercise is so basic. You just stand on one foot with your eyes closed and balance, just like this. As soon as you close your eyes, you lose the horizon and your sense of balance goes way off, so it makes it much more challenging to balance. If this one's too challenging, then the precursor to this is to go heel to toe in a line and balance like that. To make it harder, you can use a slosh pipe. Hold your pipe and balance on one foot. I don't re recommend doing this one with your eyes closed. It's also great if you're with your teammates uh, to add some instability to this is balance on one foot and then toss something back and forth to another, one another like a water bottle. And the action of throwing and catching makes you unstable. With a baseball pitcher, you just stand on one leg and make a pitching motion with your leg and your arm. Adding a challenge to this, you can do this in a round the clock fashion, so go from number nine around to number three and back around again and do that with both hands. Anytime we can be training things one side at a time, it's great for our stability. So something as simple as a one-legged squat There's lots of great stability training that you can do with a slosh pipe by just walking around with it in different orientations. And if you walk heel toe, heel toe, instead of in a normal stance, it makes it even more challenging. Doing a split squat or a squat lunge with your back foot elevated creates a great amount of instability and is a great exercise for you to try as well. Another favorite exercise of mine is a walking lunge with a twist. You're just going to reach towards your back foot with the same hand and twist your whole torso while you do it. Here's a side to side stability move. 
that you can do with something like a water jug like I'm doing here, or if you're at the gym, you can hold onto a plate. There are tons of great tools that you might be able to find at your gym for stability training, such as BOSU balls, that's the one with the flat bottom and then the stability ball top. And you can use that one to balance on, do squats, uh, one-legged balances, uh, toss a ball against the wall, all kinds of things like that. It's really, really helpful. Anything where you can make your footing unstable. I'm just gonna show you one other exercise that you can do using a stability ball, because that's what I have on hand. All I'm gonna do is kneel on the ball and try to balance there. Build your way up to this by holding onto the wall at first, and then move your way up to no hands and balancing for 30 seconds to a minute or longer. As you can see at the start here, I've got my toes gripping the ball, but as I get better, as I get more comfortable, I can lift my toes off the ball as well to make it more challenging. I'm pretty sure I showed you enough moves there that you can find something that you can do to train your stability and make yourself be a stronger, more agile, and safer athlete on the track. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with a teammate and help them become a better roller derby athlete. I'm Booty Quake. I just kicked your ass. Now you can go kick somebody else's. See you next time.